Hi everybody, welcome. This is Lynn Schulte, your postpartum recovery expert, and I've got Morgan here with me, and she is 27 weeks pregnant, and we just discovered something. She came in complaining of some rib pain, and you know she's starting to feel a lot of that jamming as that baby's growing up into her chest, and um, what we realized is that she's actually trying to make room for the baby by thrusting her shoulders and or thrusting her ribs, sorry. And I wanted to just um, show you why we don't want to do that, okay? Because when we rib thrust, we can actually develop diastasis recti. So um, with Morgan here, if um, she goes to lift her head up, go ahead and lift on up, there's a little bit of doming, doming happening in her belly here in the midline, and we want to avoid that. And one of the things that causes greater tension and greater doming to happen is this rib thrusting. So we're going to stand up here and show you what we mean by rib thrusting. So here we are in standing and um, what's beautiful about this is you're going to be able to see if you watch Morgan's dress line here um, when she's rib thrusting. Go ahead and so she's doing this to try to make room to allow the baby to grow. But if we keep doing that, that's going to cause these muscles in the front here to, to separate even more. And so if you can see, she's rib thrusting right now, and you can see how the hem of her dress is coming up here. Now, if I'd help her to you know, bring this back down, so you bring your ribs down and tuck them. I, I like to say tuck into your pelvis. So we want your, your ribs to dump into your pelvis. And you can see that her hem kind of straightens out and it, it becomes more level. So go ahead and show them that again. So do you see how it lifts up in the front here? And then if you dump your ribs into the pelvis, it levels this out and it takes the strain off of the um, front of the abdomen here. And so that's going to go ahead and just turn slightly here. There we go. So this is your rectus abdominis muscle kicks in here. And with rib thrusting, go ahead and rib thrust more. Do you see how it's gonna strain and pull this apart? It's gonna separate it more um, than when you go ahead and bring it down. There you go, we dump the, the ribs into the pelvis and it takes the strain off of this and allows these muscles to, to not separate, to stay more together, okay? Thank you, Morgan, very much. Mm -hmm. So you. avoid rib thrusting, guys, so we can stop having diastasis recti. Avoid it anyway, right? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks so much.